All right, here in the backyard, and eh, it's hot as hell out here. Eh. There's my subject. So let's see if I can get him a little closer. I might pull the other one over, and uh, you know, kind of set up the shot. So let's get set up. And take the picture. All right, we're all set up here. Uh, I'll hurry up and take the picture. The uh, <clears throat> fellow's extension, I had to add a stop. So we're at uh, eighth of a second with the sun in and 30th with the sun out. I think I may take one of each, depending on what the sun does. It's getting hot. All right, let's get the first one in the bag. Got three things working against me. The wind, the sun, and my fish. Waiting for that cloud. Hard to tell, can't look up. I think they're going this way. Let's pack up, uh, take the long hike back inside, and develop these two sheets. Okay, it's the next morning. Uh, negatives are done drying. You can definitely tell the difference between the one shot in the sun and one shot in the shade uh, on the flowers and in the water. From what I can see on the negative, uh, we'll start out with a contact sheet, see which one I like better. I'm going to use uh, my normal fiber base on this one and uh, go from there. So let's mix up some chemicals. I still have my uh, stop and fixer from yesterday. I used it to print, I used it to develop the film, and I'll use it to print today. And that'll be about it because you're not supposed to keep it more than a couple days, but. I've done it for at least a week and it's been fine. So, all right, let's get to it.
Okay. Uh, sunlight happened what I thought was going to happen. The flowers blew out. A lot more detail in these two. But, and then of course the sun made the reflection a lot more. My wife hates that tree. Uh, I'm going to print this one. Uh, but I think I'm going to crop it here and here and uh, that way it's just those. I only have one more sheet of uh, regular fiber base so I gotta make enough test strips to get it right on the first shot. If not, if it don't come out right we'll be printing it in uh, in 8x10 pearl. Alright, let's try it. Okay, uh, increments of 3 seconds, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. Uh, flower is just really light. Uh, so I'll show you what I did. Uh, the the lily, pad, lily pad leaves look good. Uh, you can see the reflection in the uh, water of the flower. So I went split contrast. Uh, I went 30 seconds. Contrast double zero. Uh, I think it worked out really well. The shadows on the leaves are good. Uh, the water droplet is visible. Uh, the shadows down here are still, or the reflection is still visible. The leaves look good. Uh, and uh, it was 30 seconds contrast double zero and 15 seconds just no filter. Let's see if I can zoom you in here. I think that I think that'll work. I'm just gonna go for it, and uh, you'll watch it get developed. sheet with that reddish stuff on the edge. Uh, I actually looked. So I got one more sheet. Hopefully it doesn't have that stuff on it. Uh, I think I might go a little bit longer on the uh, on the contrast zero. This flower looks good. That one's a little bright. Check the negative, see what that is. I think it's just a uh, uh, like a speck in the water. No, nothing I can do about that. I just want to see if I can get anything out of that. And I got one more sheet, and I got time. So let's print that one.
Okay, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice overall. I'm sure the wife will like it. Uh, gonna have to get a lot of frames. I got you know, eight, nine pictures upstairs that I want to frame. Uh, the lockdown, you know, the stores not being open. Uh, I could have ordered them online, but I like to look at them, see what they look like in person. Uh, actually thinking of building some frames. Uh, also thinking about ordering a heat press and uh, archival boards and mounting them to the board uh, along with a cutter and just leave it like an open, you know, nothing, no frame. But, okay, uh, thanks for hanging in there. I hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you.